Hi, I'm Valdesex, uh, and today we're going to have a look at these lead sheathed cables. Um, got a bunch of cables lay here, and I'm just burning the lead off um, to cast some lead weights layer. So uh, let's just take a look at them. So what I have here is some some old lead armoured cable. Um, this cable come off an airfield. I was doing some work up there drilling under the runway um, on a disused airfield and the ploughs ploughing the fields obviously they took the majority of the runway up source back to agriculture and the majority of these uh, cables aren't laid that deep and you can imagine they were sort of well I'd imagine these were communication cables how many strands are in it and uh, the ploughs you know when they subsoil etc they catch these cables and what happens is the tractor driver usually just throw them on the edge of the furrows, you know, near the tracks. And uh, when I was up there I thought I'll pick a few of them up because that reminded me of how my father used to clean all these cables up when I was young. So I thought what we'll do is we'll just cut one open and, uh, and see if there's any writing or anything inside it. So I've got one of these smaller ones in the voice here. And uh, when I was when I was young, young boy, um, I used to often work on sites. And if you're nice to people, you know, kind or whatever, or do get on with your job, often you get perks of having anything you dig up or find or anything was going to waste. And I worked on an old radar station just before it shut, and uh, our government was investing money there, and uh, they put up some new buildings. Um, all seems a waste of time now because that was shut shortly after and we had to site strip uh, probably 400 500 yards well the entire area where I was just pulling up cables left right and center I probably got four ton of this this cable a um, couple of loads on my truck I only hold a two ton and my truck did and uh, I remember having two loads of them and my father had them stripping them in the shed but what he used to use because I'm going to burn this off he used to have a knife, a big broad blade knife, and he'd be putting that into there and he'd be hitting, hitting that all the way across. Peel all this open and they, they were, if I remember rightly, they were full of grease or something along that lines. And so he, what he'd do then is he'd put, uh, he'd put all the copper, because they were usually bigger than this, he'd put all the copper inside a, a bucket of diesel and then he'd let it soak, wipe it all off because you get up more money for the copper which is um, not not burnt and not greasy but I thought what we'll do is we'll try not to hurt ourselves and uh, we'll cut a cup got it in the vice nice and solid so I thought what we'll do we'll, we'll cut them open we'll work along this and we'll we'll cut it open bless it I have burnt an awful lot of cable up this morning and then I thought oh well that'll make a perhaps a worthwhile video it's hard to know what people want to see but yeah, that brought back lovely memories. And uh, when I go and show you what, how I'm burning the, the lead off the other cables, because this is quite a good condition, this piece. Majority of it, as I say, it's all been caught round a plough. And uh, so she, the saw is usually in a bit of a rough condition. But my father used to burn, when he started doing some cables, before he, before he got that method, because there was tons of it. Um, he was burning it off on the wood burner in our workshop, and my God, he did live to be fairly old. But you couldn't, you could see in there for, for like a yellow smoke. That was hideous, absolutely hideous. You know, as I say, he smoked all his life and, and what have you. But uh, and he did, he did get ill near the end, and and uh, had some tumours or something. But he was 84. So, which is not bad, not bad at all. And as I say, if you'd have seen him burning all stuff up in our in our, our workshop on the wood burn, he'd lay these cables on there and burn them all off, or aluminium and old old rude signs and stuff with plastic over it. You know, he'd just sit there, he'd be rolling a fag, and you couldn't even see inside these inside that workshop. Right, yeah, we've got some writing in here. We got some writing inside this on this piece of tape. Right now, I don't know if you can see this, 
when we need some more of it open actually. So as I say this bore, this base where the, these particular cables, they I've only had these a few weeks, uh, the base where these came off um, shut in 1960 um, and that was used in the Second World War as a I don't know what they call it, a dispatch place or something like that. Uh, Lancaster bombers used to take off in there and what have you, because there's a hundred centenary of all that, all that scary stuff. Right, so we've got the name, maker's name here, and what that says there, look, the Enfield Cable Works Limited, 1944. I, don't, I ain't even got that in focus ever. So that's who made this cable, look, the Enfield Cable Works Limited, 1944. And uh, all them cables that my father used to strip, you know, he used to, you know, have all different names in there, different cable manufacturers. So, so that's the, this is the lead sheaf, as you can see, and this is your, as I say, this is your tape, and that run all the way through it, with the label, the name on it, look, 1944. So she's... She's fairly old. and that's because whatever this grease is inside these, can you see all that grease? Am I holding that in the right bloody place? I've got all that. So so now now we've got we've got all these cables. And they're in again this greased pad. I'd love to see the machine what actually assembled these. You know, I'd love to go back in time me. I absolutely love it. I'd I'd, I'd find so many things interesting. And, uh, and find all them people who changed everything for the bad and just say, do you realise where you're going to take life to? Right, so they're all in that. And how many cores have we got here? Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight cores in there. And uh, look how greasy they are, can you see that? And then we've got all this string inside them. Cables used to be really, really good. Well, I don't know if they were good because I am an electrician. <laughs> you know, people who are in the trade would tell you whether a modern cable is better. Then you've got all this string, got all the string in there, and I think these are paper wrapped as well. It's hard to say, but that will get a nice and... Yeah. Yeah. These are paper wound, look. So every strand, this is why they catch fire, every strand is, well look, double wrapped by the look of it, is it? Double? Yeah, well, there's two wraps around that, or more. But if you can see, see this is what my father would do, you know, he was... Well, I suppose he was retired at that time. It was a long while ago. And look how bright that copper is. You know, and then as I say, he'd, he'd put all that in diesel. I remember some of these things being probably 3.8 each strand. You know, I, I brought some big cable home for him. You know, a bit of pocket money. And he'd spend all, all you know, he'd have a cup of tea there and a smoke. He'd taken all these cables to bits. And all this copper here would sit in a, in a bucket of diesel. And so that takes all this all this grease off and then you can sell it to your merchant as the higher end. When I when I know because I'm throwing all this stuff that's on the floor here, I'm gonna throw all that in the just in the fire. So that'll be all that'll all be dark, but and a lot of this cable already is dark. Look like so many more cores in this one. But this one you can see been wrapped round the plow. Yeah, so anyway, that's it. So they made in 1944, um, you know, probably there'll be thousands of yards of this stuff at the same place I just worked, just still under the ground which the plough hasn't caught, because you know they usually plough the field the same way so you'll only catch it, you'll only catch it every time in a certain place, but uh, yeah, you can see this is the sheath, there's your grease, there's your manufacturers, 
say the Enfield, and we'll look that up later. The Enfield Cable Works Limited, 1944. And each one of these, as you can see, is wrapped in paper too. So I'll just show you. I'll just fire the thing up, and you'll see. You'll see all the smoke. You see how nice and easy and clean that. Well, apart from that grease, whatever it is. And when I put it in the fire, it's a different story altogether. But we'll go there in a minute. Ran out the main gas on the on the burner down there, so this is the last little bit. So I'm just using a blowtorch. Which is bubbling away there because there's moisture in it. Hmm. But this cable here has dried out a bit. There was some seriously green smoke coming off it earlier, but this particular bit here is not in too bad.
let that cool off now, that's all my burnt wire, that bit there. Clean all that up later. I'll let that go off and I'll add that slug of lead. And later on when I get my furnace back round here, I'm going to cast myself some weights for my tripod. Anyway, I hope that was of interest and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.